with my Jaguar. Keep sending me little things. And we have this. And we have that. Oh, I'm going to pull up so you can pick a color. Oh, good. I can't so wait. You go back in December, you'll be ready to get a new car. I get to get a new, new car. Uh, in January. Yeah. So that I can drive for a month. What car are you going to get? I don't know. It's got to see what. Pull it up. Pull right. What time is the live chat happening? Who knows? Well, hopefully now. Just, oh, it's just, okay. just going to pull it up. through. It, eventually, it'll happen. I'll be like, hey! Yeah. So, and then how does it work? Like, when they come up, they then talk to me, or they it, ask it questions. Will, it will be exactly the same as Paris. But you're going to be yeah. typing, and I'm going to be talking. Uh, not necessarily, because basically... Oh, the they'll just be typing, and I'll be reading. Up. Yeah, it's basically right. Periscope, but on... But sometimes on it goes so fast, you may have to pull yeah. stuff off. That's fine. Okay, because I'm like, um... Yeah. Okay, the question I saw five minutes ago was... Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming we're live. Are we live? We are live. Okay, we're live. So, what happens? Well, there you're we live. Go. We're building an audience. Oh, you're building an audience for me. That's very nice of you. I hope. Am I talking to the computer at this point? Not this, this one. Am I talking yeah. to you right now? Building an audience. That means Facebook is building my audience. Please, because I'm. Here, left outside alone, talking to y'all. What? Hello, Char. It's very cool to be here, um, as I just should announce to everybody that I'm going to be sharing some stuff with you that not many people know about the upcoming album. Yes, it took me a minute to get up in this piece. Um, you're watching from Brazil. Very cool. Um, I actually, it's, you know, this whole technology thing is is another world, but thanks God for for Dominic, who is my saving grace for making all this happen. Um, so hello, Marco. How are you doing? How's everybody doing? Okay. So uh, should I just start with my... Your announcements. My announcement? Yeah. Should I... I should wait on it until everyone's in the room. No way! <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you all can handle that. Can you all handle all this information that I'm going to give you? you it's like secret private information. That I would tell you. I, oh my gosh. So I don't really know what's going on. I think all of these signals keep going wrong. And I'm hoping that you guys can hear me. Because then I really would be talking to myself. Which kind of happens all the time. Um, so I want to tell you guys about the new album. And the new album. Do you guys really want to know? Oh my God, it's such a tease. Okay, so I really, really love my fans and I'm really grateful that you guys have stuck around so long and some of you even that are um, realizing that I'm touring now and that I'm back. It's really happy to see uh, everybody excited. So this year, what I did earlier this year is I did the first half of the UC tour, which is the Ultimate Collection Tour. And in the process of doing that, I actually wanted to involve you, my fans. And in, in I've done this throughout the years of my touring, and I wanted to really, really make you part of the set list. As you guys know, I discovered and put together, not discovered an app, but created an app called the um, Anastasia app. And the app really allowed me to let you guys vote for songs that weren't necessarily hit songs. And I asked you for a great set list and what you guys think you'd love to hear. And so that went in my fabulous head. And so thus was the Anastasia app songs. And I think you're getting it that this album being called a for app, they are live versions of what I sang on tour this year. We recorded it, and um, we have some really, really great live songs. I know you guys recorded a lot, and I saw a lot online of people recording stuff and videos, but I felt like I really needed to give you the real deal and listen to your screaming and listen to me singing, and um, it was always a very special moment for me during the tour to look at the phone and see which song was picked. So this is what I'm putting out, is a live app album 
for those of you who don't um, understand um, the app and how I did it was I would I, there would be a series of dates on the app and they would be concert dates and 24 hours prior to the concert date we would put up three songs even though we had a bunch more songs we just put up three songs at a time different songs rotating uh, each each concert we'd rotate songs and then out of the three everybody that has the app can vote you don't just have to come to the concert and you guys would vote and the highest number of votes and likes would be the song we played that night so it was super fun and it really just involved the fans I didn't want you guys to have to pay for a phone call because it was very difficult trying to figure out how to make the fans be part of a live gig because it couldn't be like raise your hand I'd never be able to count it so yeah that's what I created a for app is the new live album I've never done a live album so for me this is extremely exciting and I've never done a live album where the fans have picked the song so this in itself is just a dedication of love to you guys and I'm very very grateful to put this out um, another surprise um, I actually picked a fan to design the graphics and the front cover of the album so surprise surprise um, I just wanted to go straight family on everything and you'll see the cover and you'll see um, the inside and that is by an amazing fan who along the way I just found and um, felt he should if he was interested should get the opportunity so okay now I'm gonna start uh, trying to look at uh, thank you for the cool idea I thought it was kind of cool myself and as you notice I'm Anastasia Leia today because um, I wasn't trying to do too much trying to keep it au natural you know I just woke up myself so you know trying to put on the Anastasia eyewear from Blue Marine um, but I'm glad you guys are excited this is a very very cool Jonathan um, you're in the UK are you coming I hope so um, oh by the way <laughs> Tickets are on sale. It's uh, I'm sure you guys bought it already. It's 10 o'clock. I'm sure they're sold out. But you know what? You never know. Go uh, to all the places. Uh, LiveNation.com, Live Ticketmaster, those kind of amazing places. And go buy your ticket for the UK. We put on all the dates for the UK. Um, it, we probably will be adding more, possibly to the UK. And then obviously Ireland, uh, Dublin, just different places that we didn't quite put in the mix, Scotland. Um, we'd love to have more dates for um, UK and just around Europe will be announced um, we just have been very very uh, we didn't tour as much in the UK which is why we're we're putting the UK tour out so heavily right now um, definitely I'm touring again with the ultimate collection in the uh, in next year for sure so don't don't fret, don't worry. I will be coming to, I'm sure I'm coming to Berlin, if not, definitely Germany. I know Spain wants me. I actually, um, I've been hearing Portugal really wants me, but you know, I mean, all of that has to do with venue availability and financially, sometimes it's difficult to even get out there. Trust me, I would fly myself to Brazil and go to Brazil, okay? I've been hearing it. Uh, Bruno wants me to come I know I can't get out there girl I'm working on it Leeds I've heard about Leeds I've I think I played there but I don't know if we have one right now but I do a, a friend of mine is really a Leeds fan just saying I just want to say right now shout out um, so let's see I'm gonna try to read uh, some things I saw you singing live in hall oh did you oh cool this is rich I'm glad. I hope you liked it. Um, I, I'm seeing all these hearts and thumbs up. That's really good. I'm glad I'm not seeing angry faces and thumbs down. That's always a good thing. I don't even know what they could put. This is very exciting to be so live with you guys. Um, I'm I'm definitely crazy, Alicia, and I definitely will not change. It's too. It's I'm too old, honey. This is just the way it is. This is the way it is. Um, Guapa back at you, Keela, Killin, Killin, Keelan. I know. I, I need I need better glasses. Do you, Sean, do you have my other glasses? I'll be able to read these so much easier. No, the um the sexy 
sexy reading glasses. Um, oh, uh, so anyway, let's get some more questions up here so that I can, I'm going to change glasses so I can really, really read what's going on. Oh, that's so much clearer. And I love you so much too, Lisa. Thank you very much for being part of the Facebook extravaganza. And Finland, Finland loves me. <laughs> very kind. Um, so not sure of when I'm going to be in Glasgow. I'm definitely going to try to work on that. David, hello. Jacqueline, I, I can't wait either. Pamela, smiley face to you. Chris, um, Brisbane, oh my God. Freak and night I know, I really, really uh, love my Australian, New Zealand passe. Slovenia, in the house. How you doing, Mark? Oh, God, everything's going so fast. Um, so let's see. Uh, oh, party in the park. Oh, my gosh, I remember that. I think I said something naughty about tossing T-shirts, and I wasn't supposed to say toss. Yeah, it's very illegal in the UK. <laughs> um, thank you, loving my glasses. These are... Um, reading glasses. So I got to look cool in my reading glasses because, you know, at this point I'm at that age where I'm like using a walker. I can't really see too many words. Um, so, oh, Bill Bow is in the house. I really loved Bill Bow. Bill Bow was beautiful. Um, hello, Berlin. Um, so anybody have questions? I would love to answer any questions if you have. Everyone's just Minsk in the house. This is Brazil, right? Is that a Brazilian flag? Yeah. Okay. I'm, you know, up, not up on the fall flag situation. Um, maybe today, you know, I actually, uh, I have something that I could probably, uh, maybe today is a song I wrote and it's very possible I might be able to release something that I did back in the day with that. Um, but once again, I always have these little tricks up my sleeve to, uh, share with you guys. Um, uh, ciao, uh, Barcelona, hola. Peter, I saw you in Park in the Park in the, the Netherlands. You were great. I was backstage. Oh, you didn't get a selfie. Mm, take one now. Go next to me. Mm, no, okay. Um, places that I would like to go that I haven't gone. I would really like to go to Dubai. I mean, I would love to go to Israel. You know, I mean, there's a lot of places I would love to go that sometimes aren't necessarily the safest place to go sometimes with what's going on in the in the politics of it all and stuff like that. But there's a ton of places I would love to go and, and just see probably more vacation spots. Cause I don't really get to take many vacations. When I have time off, I go home. There's a palm tree, there's a pool. It's a vacation. Um, well, have a great, uh, some, some people are saying they got to go back to work. So have a great time at work, Frank. Um, you know, um, you'll see me another time. Um, Hungry, how you doing? Um, everyone's throwing their flags up. Flags, flags flying. Woo! Um, raise your flag. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm doing the next, I'm doing the UK again next year because I really didn't play too many places in the UK. And I've really, like the very last tour, I think, um, the tour before that, I only played like two dates, if not one. And then this year I played seven. It's a big um, territory for me. And I've played a lot in Germany and I've played a lot in a lot of other countries, but I just haven't, haven't worked around to the UK in smaller places like I have in other countries. So I think that it's good if I can do that. So where are we at? And much time looking around each city. Oh, I see this. Jana saying, um, in between concerts, do I spend much time looking around in cities, etc.? You know, I really, I'm actually starting to enjoy that now in my life. I have to keep it real because um, I think before I felt so busy and so out of control. On the tour, it can be it can be difficult. If I'm doing like five shows that week, it can be difficult for me to find moments that I want to hang out and actually do something other than trying to rest up and give them everything I can give to the meet and greets, to the sound check, to the actual performance, you know, um, as opposed to other artists. And I don't mean to be, um, uh, negative. I sing live and the way I sing live, it takes a lot of my energy and I give everything I do to the stage. So I never want to cheat you guys out of anything. 
And as much as I love being in your country and seeing many beautiful parts of it, I think the purpose of me being there is so that I can give you a great concert. Um, so sometimes I have gotten to see a lot of places. Um, and in all my travels, the last 17 years, I've seen a lot of places. So even if I'm coming back to a place, I don't necessarily have to go and see it again. But it's been fun to check out different things and do different things. So um, absolutely. Yeah, I know. I should come to Israel, Tamara. <laughs> um, let's see. You know, I'd said before, it's weird. I would love to duet with Sia. I would love, there's a lot of really amazing artists out there. And um, Adele, Sia, um, Ryan from One Republic. I mean, there's so many great singers out there that I think are also great writers. And that really inspires me as not just a great singer, but somebody who also writes from their heart and can write their own music is is a, a big a big yes for me to want to duet with people like that. So, um, how do I get in shape? Um, <laughs> you know, uh, I actually, I was really happy to do Strictly. It really helped, um, bring back the love of being cardiovascularly super in shape. And, um, I'm going to continue that. I'm actually going to continue learning to dance because it did inspire me to want to learn things that I haven't learned when it comes to technique or just using my body in a different way. Because of surgeries, um, I think the last three years I've been very cautious and I really am excited about next year's tour because I feel more, feel more connected to uh, movement in my body. So I'm glad that I did the show and I'm glad it gave me opportunities to do that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try. Not that I can necessarily move so much more when I'm <laughs> when I'm doing my music. I mean, I still have all those high notes to sing, and I just don't want to compromise. Okay, um, so uh, let's see. Where else we got? Did you see one you like? Let's see. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh wait! Hey, shout out to Carl. Hey. It's Ellie's husband. Um, and I, I, oh, You'll Never Be Alone was our first dance wedding song. Oh, my God. Um, I can't remember the beginning of it. <laughs> <laughs> Happy wedding song. Oh, my God. The stress of it all, trying to read this and be all up in the mix. But I'm so glad you guys have used that. That means a lot to me. I uh, really get a kick out of people using my songs for their wedding. Because most of my songs are about breaking up with somebody and punching him in the face. So it's nice to know that romance can come in the factor too. I would totally be a judge on X Factor M. I think that it's a fun show. Um, you kind of know that it's, it's, um, a lot of entertainment and a lot of fun. So, um, I, I believe that that show could be, I'm, I'm good with everything. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I, I hear you guys definitely talking about you liked Gorka more than Brendan. I'm hearing that a lot. Um, you know, it's not about a competition, but yes, I did do my best dance with Gorka. And so I, I do admit that. And I think it's a fact. So, you know, I don't like bullying. So we can just leave it at that. And and we have to go on with positive thoughts, people. Um Oh, I know you guys are putting all these, how come the world won't stop changing? I know. I really do love a lot of the songs, Ila, Ilya, Alia, Ilya, oh God, gorgeous names, but I can't read them. Um, I really do enjoy a lot of the songs that weren't hits on, on my albums. They really have, they're like the, the, the real juicy pages to the album itself. Um, coffee or tea? Um coffee. <laughs> um, but I'll do tea, man. If it's licorice, I know it's weird, huh? Um, how you, how do I lower my heart rate when belting songs? You know, I think my heart rate's pretty high, but you, if you have a good cardiovascular, you can recover very well. So that's what I try to work on. You're singing paid my dues right now, Lilo. Okay, go ahead. Get it out. Woo. You know, Pride of Britain, Charlie, um, one thing about Pride of Britain is just respecting people that don't get acknowledged for their um, being heroic and having just good deeds. They do good deeds. I think most of our news and all of that 
stuff worldwide, concentrates on things that are important to know, but when do you highlight the real person? When do you really give love back to a person who's really great? And that's what I really do enjoy about the Pride of Britain, which is an award show in the UK. And I did enjoy going to it. It was really special to be in a room full of people that were just not only famous, but some of them just completely on the other side of famous. And it was just beautiful to be part of. So I was glad to go. Very uh, tearjerker, I have to say. Um, what is my favorite food? God, that's a difficult one. I do like food a lot. Um, Sean, what would you say my favorite food is? <laughs> Asian food. I mean, I like Asian food. You know, I do like some Chinese, Japanese, Thai. Um, but I mean, I like ice cream yeah. and I like really naughty food when I'm in the mood. Um, so yeah, I think you like, you like any food that has, is mushy. Yeah. I like, I, yeah, I'm not a big crunchy person, so I'm not into the crunch. So any, anything that's sort of easy to get down fast so you can get more in, I'm definitely down with, you know, calorically. It's all good. Um, let's see, kids. I'm so glad you guys are talking with me right now. This is, this is my first Facebook ever, dot com. Um, get, what's the date? Uh, November 4th. Put it in your calendar. First time ever, 48, uh, November 4th, 19... 16, 19, wait, 20, 20. <laughs> exactly. That's when it happened. And that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Um, I'm hoping to come to Ireland. Trust me. My, my family's half Irish and my mom, we just did a, a date in Dublin and my mom actually sang, you can find it online. Maybe. Hey! I'm back. I'm back. Uh. Okay, sorry. It's a little early for all this, kids. Okay, sorry. It's just a connection thing. I don't know. Maybe I lost you. You didn't lose me. Um, so, um, uh, what did I say? Noticed you sing and you said your songs and your signature. I don't know what that means. Uh, of course I love Italian food. It just sticks to my bones in a way that gives me unsightly bulges. But um, I love Italian food. I wish, you know, there is a part where I say I wish I still drank alcohol because alcohol looks so cool when people have it, like in a drink, and they're like, eh. but, you know, I still have such a great time not drinking alcohol. I still feel much more healthy not drinking that I have to say that you don't have to drink alcohol to have a good time take it from me, just saying. But, um, and then I just, you know, I drink Diet Coke or, you know, sparkling water in a wine glass. There you go. Another way of you can just turn that stuff upside down. Hello, Amanda's son's birthday. Happy sixth birthday to you, Daniel. All right. Just thought I'd shout out. Um, you want me to sing a song now? Well, I don't know if you can afford that. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. What are some songs that you would like me to sing? What is, um, if you will come to my show, you will hear, definitely you're going to hear the hits. So, um, I know that's just the way it goes and you ain't right. For I show you turned your back. Ah, whoa! Okay. Oh my God. Whoa. Okay. You guys are back. Whoa. That was close. You guys might have seen me the whole time, but I didn't know. So I just didn't want to give away too much. So, um, I was singing and then I lost connection. So, um, What's my favorite Disney movie? Oh my God, I forget what Disney movies are, but I love those cartoony movies. I really do. All of them. They're really fun. Um, so thank you. I t you guys are so cute saying you loved me singing and I didn't even really go there with singing too much, but it's nice. I, I love what I do, you guys. Um, 
By the way, I'm sure you know if you're on this that uh, just let people know that the pre-order is uh, is up right now for the album. Um, I think the release date is sometime in six. Oh my God, it's like Christmas Kwanzaa. Um, it's the 16th of December. Don't fear, but you know it, it feels like a long time from now. But it really is worth. And then, ah, you're back. Okay. Thank you. And I hope you guys have been patient with me going in and out of signal. Um, so thank you very much for being here. I just, uh, I'm going to sort of cut it off right now. And it's, it's very bad Wi-Fi, I know. I hear you, girl. Um, so you're welcome, Auriel, for uh, positive things. You guys have been always positive with me. And I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, oh goodness, Ami, list. Oh my God. Yes. I'm not going to tell you the set list. So uh, I just want to keep you waiting and wondering which songs are going to be on the album. And, um, and tickets today have gone on sale for the UK portion of my tour for next year. And then other tickets in different countries will definitely be up. But if you want to come to the UK, which is a great place to come anyway, for a little weekend soiree or a couple day moment, it's it's always a good thing. And it's not going to be too cold because it's not in their winter. Um, the live live takes. So I adore you guys. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. Um, and uh, thanks for everything. Um, spread the word that there's an album out. No problem. I don't mind a little extra promotion. <laughs> it's available on Pledge. And also um, the tickets are on sale now, um, Ticketmaster and Live Nation. So enjoy it. Enjoy the journey. Um, keep hanging out with me. Um, and I'll hang out with you guys too. We'll do this more often. <laughs>